Did you know that this beautiful glowing green glass contains uranium? That's right, the same element used in nuclear reactors and bombs. But can it make you sick? Stick around as we uncover the truth about uranium glass. In this video, we'll explore what uranium glass is, how it's made, how to identify it, and most importantly, is it safe to have in your home? So let's dive in. So firstly, what is uranium glass? And I've got two lovely examples here. I've got this vase and this jug. Well, uranium glass is a special type of glass first produced in the early 19th century to produce decorative tableware or household items, which had a unique fluorescent glow effect to them. It was incredibly popular across Europe and North America, but fell out of widespread use between the 1940s and then again in the 1980s, when availability of uranium was limited because of World War II and then the Cold War. So how exactly is uranium glass made? Well, the process of making uranium glass is similar to that of regular glass, but with a twist. During the melting process, glass makers would add uranium dioxide to the mixture, and this not only adds a colour to the glass, but also causes the glass to fluoresce under UV light, as we'll be having a look at shortly. The majority of uranium glass is transparent and green in colour like these two, with the shades varying depending on the concentration and oxidation, as well as other elements added during the glass making process. So even right here in front of us, we can see that this is a slightly darker green, whereas this is more of a lighter lime green. However, there are other colours available, for example, canary glass, later called Vaseline glass, which has more of a yellow colour, hence the name. Further to this, uranium glass can also be opaque, with green opaque being called jadeite glass, because of the reference to jade, and anything that's yellow and opaque being called custard, again because of the link between the yellow and it being opaque. Okay, on to the fun part now, how to identify uranium glass. So some uranium glass will actually register above background radiation uh, on a sensitive Geiger counter. However, this is very rarely the case, especially for smaller items with a lower concentration within them. Instead, the best way is to use a UV light, also known as a black light. So using a UV light, you will see this wonderful glowing effect, a property known as fluorescence. And that is our key indicator that we are dealing with uranium glass and not just glass that is green. Now a word of caution when using your UV light choice. There are a couple of um, common light waves when using ultraviolet. There is a 365 and a 395. Now the 365 is more sensitive, if we want to use that word, to uranium, meaning that uh, when you look at items they will uh, fluoresce more readily compared to 395 that can sometimes wash out the colour a little bit and, and not give you those indications. However, because of that you might also get false positives. For example, uh, manganese and cobalt glass will glow brightly under a 365 ultraviolet light, but they are not uranium glass. Also, unlike torches, the majority of UV strip lights that you find out there are the 395 wavelength. And so you should consider that if you're going to be making a display, you should probably use a 395 torch because that will give you a better um, impression of how your display will look. Now on to the big question, is uranium glass safe? Well, whilst it does contain uranium and it does emit some radiation, the levels are generally very low, usually ranging from around 0.1 to 2%, although admittedly, some pieces have been found to have much higher levels within them. This means that the radiation emitted by uranium glass is often less than what you would be exposed to from a granite countertop or a flight across the country. The key is to handle it responsibly and avoid using it for food or drink storage, but even this can be done with care, and the trick is not to ingest any of that of the glass itself by accident. And to prove it, I'm going to pour some water from this uranium glass jug into a glass and have a drink from it. Ah. 
So as you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Although for the sake of my YouTube channel, I should probably not recommend using uranium glass as your every everyday drinkware, just in case. So in summary, we looked at the origins of uranium glass and its different color types from green to the less common yellow ones and some of the opaque ones. We looked at how it's made through the introduction of uranium dioxide, how to detect it with UV lights with considerations about different wavelengths to choose from, and then finally, how safe is it to own? I hope you enjoyed this video on this fascinating topic. And if you did, you should definitely check out this one that's gonna be suggested in the top right of your screen. And until the next one, all the best, take care and see ya.